Hello Galaxy, I'm Chris Perillo, and this is an ad for Disney, but I also need to let you know that I've launched an official, unofficial Star Wars fan community known as Star Wars Radar. I've set up a separate YouTube channel, I've got a Facebook page, a Facebook group that you can join. You can also follow us on Twitter, at Star Wars Radar. We've got about 47,000 fans already. 47,000 Star Wars fans. I can't believe I finally have a Star Wars fan community to be able to build with you. So feel free to follow me across social. Uh, the reason I wanted to talk to you today is not just the announcement of having a Star Wars community really for the first time ever and being able to talk about Star Wars all the time, which I'm doing anyway, but specifically to let you know that you can download the Star Wars app onto your mobile device and find the Force. You may know that I've been a huge fan of AR, or augmented reality, for quite some time. And you could use the Find the Force feature inside the new Star Wars app. You just update it. And you could point it, the camera, in your phone at a marker and augmented reality objects appear on your screen. It's pretty amazing. Right now you can unlock Porgs floating on an island. I don't know what's going on with that or maybe it's just a rock. Who knows? The Last Jedi isn't out yet. But you could also visit stores, locations that you may be visiting anyway and unlock other augmented reality experiences through the app that... I'm pretending to hold on to because I'm recording this video with the phone that has my Star Wars app on it. Uh, another reason I wanted to talk to you today is to show you that Disney sent some of the new Elite Series figures. Now, you can see at least one, two, possibly three Elite Series figures behind me because I have been collecting a few of them over the years. Uh, this is the new Ray, and you can tell it's the new Ray, not just because uh, it has a different box, but specifically with what she's wearing. Now, if you don't know anything about uh, these particular types of figures, they usually come in a box like this. They are exclusives to the Disney store, and they are die cast. So it's a mix of metal, plastic, and paint. So they are posable, super posable. I think they look amazing in the box. Uh, they all come with a stand. You can see that little black oval behind uh, Ray there. Uh, she's got her staff and the the, uh, the weapon that Han Solo gave her in uh, The Force Awakens. Uh, this is Ray. And uh, if you're not familiar with Elite Series figures at all, uh, they uh, stand uh, approximately six or seven inches tall, depending on which figure. Uh, they are heavy, if I did not mention that already, because... They are die cast. Um, so this is Ray. <laughs> Yet another Ray, which is nice to see because, you know, you can't just wear one bit of clothing in the Star Wars universe unless you're Kylo Ren or Ben Solo. Uh, you can see that this is the updated Kylo. It's got the new scar right there on his face. Although there is a, a, a you know a, a, a whole uh, a contingent of the community that uh, is is feeling for Kylo Ren and is not sure whether Kylo Ren is going to remain on the the dark side or if he's going to flip to the light. But there's Kylo. He's got a new cloak there too. Then we have R two D two. So I did not have the R2-D2, uh, the, the, specifically the die-cast uh, R2-D2, the Elite Series R2-D2, until now. So I'm very grateful to have this one. I really like uh, the, the way it's presented, if anything, if, if only because uh, R2-D2 is a droid. He's made of metal, and it's probably... This feels heftier than the other two combined. Whether or not that's true, I couldn't tell you. So R2-D2 is definitely going to be playing a role, uh, some some kind of role, obviously, in uh, The Last Jedi. Very happy to see him. Uh, certainly a lot larger, I mean, I mean from my uh, uh, my perspective, uh, from the 6-inch variety that you may have seen uh, made largely of plastic in, in that scale. Uh, so it, it's definitely larger. Let's see here. If you know, I don't have huge hands, but uh, just to give you an idea about how bulky uh, this R2 is, and, and perfectly, uh, perfectly, uh, 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 situated within the, the packaging, which to me uh, is just as much a value as the figures themselves. Here's Luke. Now, what's interesting about uh, Luke here is he's got this uh, staff, right? This little, it's not I don't know if it's a, a walking stick. It's a little short for a walking stick. Uh, oh, by the way, it says die cast right there, if, if you couldn't tell that, that little label there. Uh, I love the presentation of uh, the, uh, the, um, the Elite Series figures. I think out of all the figures that are available across uh, all of Star Wars uh, collect uh, collection fandom, or at least 
from collectors. I think Elite Series uh, figures stand out as some of the best presented in package. So there's Luke. I'm trying to be very careful because I don't know if you're able to, to get uh, full focus, but uh, the uh, uh, the articulation on these figures is uh, you know suitable for for posing for toy photography, which I'm a fan of. Star Wars radar on Instagram. I'm posting uh, uh, my toy photography there now. Um, uh, but but even the sculpt. So uh, look at uh, Luke's face. It looks like Mark Hamill. And that, to me, just speaks to the quality uh, that's gone into uh, the engineering or the design of uh, the Elite Series figures, specifically those figures with human likenesses. Very happy to see this. A very uh, realistic-looking uh, Luke Skywalker, and you don't always uh, see that uh, with uh, action figures. Uh, so I've saved my favorites for last. <laughs> ah, look at this. It is a First Order Judicial. So it looks somewhat like a First Order Stormtrooper, except I'm going to do this. Something that I probably should have done beforehand. I'm going to pick up a uh, the First, or, first, order, first order Stormtrooper here. Uh, this is also a, an Elite Series First Order Stormtrooper. Uh, and show you the side-by-side the -side comparison. Not only does he have a, a different weapon there, uh, but you can see this uh, like a, a black, uh, I guess, carve-out, or maybe it's paint or something on the uh, the right side of his helmet. He's also got black uh, shoulders, shoulder pads. Um, but he, he's, he's definitely looking mean and menacing and uh, that much different. I don't see any differences specifically with the, the nose area of the face outright. Uh, there have been some uh, uh, variations seen with the First Order Stormtroopers in uh, The Last Jedi and uh, The Force Awakens. But I don't see any stark contrast between these two, so I'm gonna set you down. Like I said, these things are these things are heavy. <laughs> like th that's good. I, I I like that kind of uh, weight to the figure, and it works very well with the stand. And last but not least, what Disney sent me, uh, the Elite Praetorian Guard. I had a chance to educate someone on Praetorian Guards uh, last night. Uh, they they harken back to uh, the uh, Roman Empire. Uh, if you want to research it. It's not a word that was made up uh, by Disney. You may just be coming out of the box today, Mr. Praetorian Guard. I'm going to have to give it a name. Do you have any ideas? Maybe you do, maybe you don't. Either way, I'm very grateful that you watched this video. Very grateful that you're also going to start following me across social under the new Star Wars fan account at Star Wars Radar on pretty much every platform. This is probably not a good idea given how heavy these things are. Is that it? Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, I had six. Hang on. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do this. And there are others, too. I mean, in terms of uh, the Elite series. So thank you, Disney. Thank you, everybody. I love you. I appreciate you. And may the Force be with you.